I was always interested in space. Uh, I grew up at the time when they were uh, going to the moon. I was a, a less than 10 then, so it's uh, you can't you can't see that and not get excited about space. It was always a dream, and I was just lucky enough to end up down a path that could bring me here. Well, I have actually been at NASA for about 11 years. I uh, started in the Navy, went to Naval Academy, and graduated in the uh, in '86. Went through Navy flight training and uh, ended up flying the F-18 with the Navy. Ended up in test pilot school, and after doing test pilot duties for a couple of years, I applied to NASA and was lucky enough to uh, get picked in 90, 1996, and I came down then and have been there ever since. I'm a pilot. We, we really don't get to do spacewalks. Our main job is to get the orbiter uh, to and from uh, space safely and uh, help out the mission specialists who are going to do the uh, main duties when we're on orbit. So I flew uh, on STS-110 back in uh, 2002. We delivered a, a truss segment similar to the one that they're bringing up uh, hopefully today. The station has grown tremendously uh, just in the last couple of years. Uh, my crew is currently training for a flight uh, this fall and uh, we're looking forward to that whole truss being uh, built out with three big solar arrays uh, so we can use the power for the European lab that we're bringing up to the space station. And you go up in December, right? That's what we're hoping, December 6th. Wow, so you've already started training. We have, we're well into our training, uh, a few months to go and then we'll be ready to fly. Flying in space is the, the best thing anyone can imagine. It's just a tremendous experience. So we're lucky that we have the opportunity to, uh, to get to do that. Even if it's just for 11 days, it's a wonderful experience. And you, you train for it for a year and you go through hundreds and hundreds of uh, simulated launches. So when you do it for the, for the first time for real, it's, it's almost an unreality of, wow, it's really happening, it's really real. And then you get up there and uh, your first chance to glance out at the Earth is just an amazing experience seeing the curve of the Earth and the atmosphere below you. It's, uh, it's really, uh, really burns itself into your memory. We have a lot of stuff to learn. Uh, you have to learn how to uh, fly, fly the rocket, uh, both to and from space. You have to learn all the duties they're going to do on orbit, the spacewalks, the robotics operations, all the stuff we need to assemble the space station and, and uh, keep it keep it outfitted so people can survive up there. It's a lot to learn and we spend a year getting ready for it. The guys that are doing the spacewalks uh, spend a lot of time in the uh, neutral buoyancy lab, big, a big huge pool that's 40 feet deep, uh, practicing their spacewalks. Uh, the pilots spend time in the shuttle, air, shuttle training aircraft, uh, practicing how to land the space shuttle. A lot of different training facilities all to get ready for that one space mission. I mean, we spend our whole life down here in 1G uh, so you're, you're dropped off into this, uh, this zero-G situation up there. It takes a couple hours to get used to. Uh, the new guys, uh, when we're on our, our first couple hours in space, you spend a lot of time bumping into things. So the, uh, it's great entertainment for the folks that have flown before up there watching you. Uh, when you see the space station folks up there, uh, they're like the Olympic gymnasts uh, compared to us. They, they've been up there for a couple of months. They get very uh, used to the environment. And so we go up there and we look like a bunch of uh, rumbling elephants compared to them zipping around their space station. NASA's uh, getting going with the Constellation program, uh, building a new vehicle to get ready to go, to go back to uh, the space station and on to the moon. Uh, so certainly we'll all, we're all very interested in uh, helping out with that program.